Target is very focused on the aesthetics of their stores, their products. Target, a household name in the United States, has an interesting backstory that not many know about. A calamitous event sparked the birth of this retail giant. But what happens when success is not guaranteed? In this video, we'll delve into Target's history and examine the challenges it faced, including its failed attempt to expand into Canada. Target's story began in the early 20th century when a massive fire destroyed a church in Minneapolis. This calamity turned out to be a turning point for the retail industry, as it opened up a unique opportunity for George Dayton, a local businessman who had been looking for ways to expand his business. Dayton, who owned a successful department store in Minneapolis called Dayton's, was approached by the parishioners of the destroyed church, who pleaded with him to buy the lot next door. This lot had been left vacant after the church was destroyed, and the parishioners thought it would be an excellent location for Dayton to expand his store. Dayton was intrigued by the idea, and he saw the potential of the lot. He had been considering expanding his business for a while, and this was the perfect opportunity. However, before the fire even happened, Dayton had already been in the process of negotiating the purchase of the lot next door. Despite the tragedy that led to the opportunity, Dayton seized the moment and purchased the lot. He then began construction on a six-story department store that would revolutionize the retail industry. Dayton's vision was to create a department store that was different from anything else on the market, a store that would focus on quality, service, and value. Dayton's department store was a massive success, and it quickly became one of the most popular shopping destinations in Minneapolis. The store's success allowed Dayton to expand his business even further, and he eventually opened several other locations across the country. Now, some might wonder if Dayton's success was purely a result of the fire that destroyed the church. Some may argue that Dayton was already planning to buy the lot next door before the fire, and that the calamity didn't really have an impact on his decision. However, it's important to note that the fire did create an opportunity for Dayton to expand his business, and it's possible that he may not have moved forward with his plans as quickly if the fire had not occurred. Regardless, Dayton's vision and entrepreneurial spirit were the real driving forces behind his success. Now we'll take a closer look at how Dayton's department store evolved over time and eventually became Target. The origins of Target can be traced back to 1902, when George Dayton founded Dayton's department store in Minneapolis, Minnesota. The store was successful and grew rapidly over the years. Okay, but why, how, and when did the name become Target? The origin of the name Target is a bit of a mystery. But there are a few theories about how it came about. One theory is that it was inspired by the company's original logo, which featured a bullseye design. Another theory suggests that the name came about as a way to position the company as a discount retailer with a focus on value and affordability. The official story from the company is that the name Target was chosen by Dayton's son, Douglas Dayton who believed that the name would convey the idea of a store that aimed to meet the needs of its customers. The first Target store opened in 1962 in Roseville, Minnesota, and it quickly became a popular destination for shoppers looking for affordable, high-quality products. Over the years, Target has continued to evolve and innovate, with a focus on creating a unique shopping experience for customers. Today, the company is known for its trendy and stylish merchandise, as well as its commitment to sustainability and social responsibility. In terms of the company's financial practices, Target is a publicly traded company and is required to pay taxes in accordance with federal and state laws. As for layoffs, like any business, Target has had to make strategic decisions about its workforce over the years in response to changes in the market and consumer behavior. However, the company has also been recognized for its commitment to fair labor practices and employee benefits, such as a $15 minimum wage and paid family leave. Target's success can be attributed to a number of factors, including its commitment to innovation, customer service, and community involvement. 
In the early days, Target differentiated itself from other retailers by offering a wider selection of merchandise at lower prices. The company was also an early adopter of technology, introducing computerized inventory systems and point-of-sale terminals in its stores. Target's commitment to customer service has been a cornerstone of its success. The company has a reputation for being friendly and helpful to customers, and it has invested heavily in training its employees to provide excellent service. Target's expansion into different markets has not always been smooth. While the company has seen tremendous success in the United States, it has faced several challenges and controversies over the years. One of the most notable examples of Target's struggles came in 2011, when the company announced its plans to expand into Canada. The move was highly anticipated, with many Canadian consumers excited about the prospect of having a new, high-quality retailer in their country. However, the expansion quickly turned into a disaster for Target. The company had trouble stocking its stores with the right merchandise, leading to empty shelves and frustrated customers. Additionally, Target struggled to compete with established Canadian retailers, many of whom had already established loyal customer bases. After just two years, Target announced that it would be closing all of its Canadian stores and pulling out of the market entirely. The move was a significant blow to the company's finances, with Target ultimately losing billions of dollars as a result of its failed expansion. While Target's failure in Canada was a high-profile setback, the company has also faced other challenges and controversies over the years. For example, in 2013, Target experienced a massive data breach that compromised the personal and financial information of millions of customers. The incident was a significant embarrassment for the company and led to a sharp drop in sales. Target has also faced criticism over its labor practices, with some activists accusing the company of paying low wages and mistreating workers. In 2020, the company was sued for allegedly forcing workers to work off the clock and denying them overtime pay. In recent years, Target has made efforts to improve its labor practices, including raising its minimum wage and offering benefits to part-time employees. Despite these challenges, Target remains one of the largest and most successful retailers in the United States. Target has come a long way since its founding in 1902. Today, it's one of the largest retailers in the United States with over 1,900 stores and more than 350,000 employees. Target's success can be attributed to its ability to adapt to changing consumer preferences and trends while staying true to its core values. One of Target's recent successes is its focus on e-commerce. In recent years, Target has invested heavily in its online shopping platform, and it's paid off. Target's online sales grew by over 145% in 2020, as more and more consumers turned to online shopping during the COVID-19 pandemic. Target has also been successful in differentiating itself from competitors through its exclusive product lines. The company has collaborated with well-known designers and brands such as Chip and Joanna Gaines, Vineyard Vines, and Hunter to create unique and affordable products for its customers. While Target has had its share of challenges over the years, including a significant data breach in 2013, it has not experienced any major failures on the scale of its failed expansion into Canada. However, the company has had to make strategic decisions, such as closing unprofitable stores and shifting focus to its online presence to remain competitive in a rapidly changing retail landscape. Looking to the future, Target has set ambitious goals including becoming a carbon-neutral company by 2040 and increasing its workforce diversity and inclusion efforts. With a strong focus on innovation and customer experience, Target is well-positioned for continued success in the years to come. Overall, the story of Target is one of success and resilience, from its humble beginnings as a department store in Minnesota to its current status as one of the largest retailers in the world. Target's journey is a testament to the power of innovation, commitment to customer service, and dedication to community involvement.